Hey everyone, I just want to talk about what's on a lot of people's minds right now with investing. We all feel it, so I want to discuss it and hopefully make you guys feel a little bit better. So right now, this environment we all know is crazy, right? We got energy prices, you know, out of control. We got inflation, there's labor shortages, there's all these issues right now with the economy, right? Now, in the in history, this is the time that you want to buy. Now, when you feel that that pain in your stomach, right? Where, or you want to throw in the towel, you're done investing, that is the time in history when you want to buy. Now everyone says, hey, this time's different and it could be, right? But eventually at some point, you know, things will get better or start to improve. And that's when the market has already started to come back. And then by the time the market has recovered, it's too late. So it's very tough with investing to stick out these horrible gut-wrenching times right now where it seems like there's no hope, but it's good to bet on America. The U.S. economy is right now the best place to be if you had to choose one place in the world. We have a strong dollar right now, which I know it affects exports, but imports, um, you know, are good with the strong dollar. So that helps America. And I think more foreign investors will flock to our market over time. Um, but yeah, a lot of issues out there, obviously, with China right now that affects a lot of our semiconductor industry. Um, which in turn affects other tech companies because so many things involve chips. Luckily, the CHIPS Act that was passed is going to allow for more manufacturing of semiconductors in the U.S., but that's going to take a while, obviously. So we're talking by the time the middle of the decade and later decade comes around, things will be looking a lot better. We'll be less dependent on China and other places in the world. Um, so that's a step in the right direction. But in the meantime, you know, again, things are going to be volatile and choppy for a while here until the Fed is done raising rates. So unfortunately, investors got really scared on Friday, even though nothing has changed from the status quo, just because Powell said that, you know, there will be some economic pain, which we all knew when you're raising rates, unfortunately, you know, there's going to be companies that have more layoffs and things like that. So people will be affected, which stinks for those people. But this is a short term thing. Now, the only thing, you know, obviously raising rates will will reduce inflation, which it's showing decelerating growth so far, which is on the right track. But the problem is if Putin, right, we can't control him or we can't control, you know, energy prices, oil, natural gas, that kind of stuff. So that's the kind of the wild card right now. So right now, if you can be in a dividend stock, you know, whether it be in the energy industry, if you can find a high yielding energy stock, or one of my favorites is NLY, Annaly. Um, they pay a 13% dividend. It's a mortgage REIT, which the stock doesn't go up or down too much. And I just have the dividends going straight to my bank account. So if you don't like the volatility, I recommend getting a high paying dividend stock that beats inflation right now. And you can have that deposited, you know, reinvested, or you can have it just sent directly to your bank account, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, so that's the safest play right now. Obviously, if you can go long, you know, if you put a little bit into into stocks enough where you don't have to look at it, that's the best solution right now. If you can invest and not look at your account, if you can do that, it's very hard. Um, but if you can do that, you're going to make a lot of money long term. And that's the best way you could play it right now to be stress free, put money in, don't look at it. And like I said, next year, the year after that, if you can wait, you're going to be happy you did that. But like I said, I know tough times right now. But that's my advice, a uh, high yielding or a high dividend energy stock, or like I said, the one I have is Annaly, N-L-Y. Um, so that was, those would be my recommendations right now during this volatile environment. So hopefully that helps everybody and you guys have a great week. Bye.